Hi guys, uh, surprise visit from Peter to Boston. And so now we are at H Mart, which is one of the uh, Korean uh, market. It just opened about two months ago, I think. So let's go inside. Wow. Red bean in the bun. Little, almost like a hot dog bun with uh, cream inside. Cream inside. They have sushi. It actually looks pretty good. Look at this. A tray of like mochi and rice cake. Assorted rice cake. Okay, we talk about kimchi a lot on the show, so look at all kinds of kimchi over here. There's pogi kimchi, there's uh, gap kimchi, there's also uh, tofu of some sort, it's like a bottle of kimchi, a large bottle, three pounds. I know JJ would piss his pan right now <laughs> seeing this. Yeah. This is the good stuff. They all made with either seafood or um, some odd stuff. This one is actually fish. Now, if you like Korean barbecue, yes, please get it. This is marinade uh, pork, bulgogi style. And the meat quality looks really, really good. You can do shabu at home. Nice. Yeah. Look at all the marbleization in there. That's gotta be good. Mm -hmm. So, we have some more stuff here. This is all the uh, dessert type. Uh, this one is the Swiss roll cake. That uh, I think Japanese and Korean likes to eat these. Look at all the mochi. Different kinds of mochi. It has a... Uh, Red bean paste inside. Now, this. It's gotta be good. It's like pancake with uh, red beans inside. You would have thought that they would have a, a few kinds of uh, the uh, miso, but this is more than a few. <laughs> and look at all the noodles. Okay, this pack has everything, even the broth. You can feel the broth inside. So it's, it's got everything you need for two servings. And it's $7.49. That's actually not bad, huh? And now is the fresh seafood section. So you can see, it's all really fresh. You know, even like the octopus and stuff they, they have available here at H Mart. Pretty awesome. Okay, so now we are in the fresh produce section. Okay, this is the regular apple. Watch this. <laughs> the size of this apple. This is Fuji apple. I'm gonna get some lime for cooking tomorrow. A secret of picking lime. Okay. Pick up. Okay. These two are very different. One of them has very bumpy skin. I don't know if you can see it. The other one is very shiny and soft. The way to pick lime is to pick the one really, really shiny. Because this one 
you can be squeezing to death and you won't get any juice out of it. Okay, here's, here's what they call the king of fruit. Okay. Let me see. Ow. It is durian right here. It's very stinky to Western, but I love it. And it's very spiky and really sharp. These are the Chinese eggplant, pretty large. Bit of melon. Now, I have a funny bit about this. In Thailand, the F word, this is what the F word is. In Thailand. <laughs> it's actually a Chinese long squash. We call it that word. That word. I don't know if you guys know about this thing. It's called hikama. Some of the high-end restaurants, they, they like to do a hikama slaw. Uh, it's pretty good. You put hikama with some apples and some uh, mangoes, green mangoes, and a bit of lime juice, and you create a hikama slaw. It's pretty good. Another thing that's, you probably don't see this in an American uh, place. This is the guy uh, sort of like a yam. They eat it raw and grate it sometimes, soaked in uh, vinegar. Uh, this thing is huge. <laughs> Kill people with this. Okay, also, this is the soy sauce and all the sauces section. You can see from over there, they have anything from chili sauce, uh, dark soy sauce. Uh, fish sauce. No, the best one. Come here. This is what I like to use for cooking. Now, look at this. It's got three crabs on it. Don't be full because I also have the five crabs. The two crabs. They like to uh, fool you with all this different kind of crabs. Uh, as far as the brand goes, go with the three. Pink label. It's actually it looked like uh, Vietnamese, but actually made in Thailand. Okay, this is my favorite section. All the Japanese or Asian grocery, all the drinks behind me. Now, this Peter said it's. Pretty darn good. It's called what? Lamune. Lamune. So they have uh, melon flavor, strawberries, and all kinds of uh, flavored peaches. And here's Cupid mayonnaise. They also have ketchup in a soft squeeze bottle. Uh, mayonnaise with horseradish. And here's something I have never seen before. A Thai hot chili mayonnaise. It's pretty cool. And also, wasabi mayonnaise. I don't know if I like this, but they have it. Now, they are also selling electronics in here in H Mart. Look at this. This is a rice cooker. What you usually see in the American store is probably like $30, $40. Look at the price, $359, but it does everything that you ever need to do with rice. It's all pre-programmed, it's very easy to use, it's called Kuku, that's the brand. It's also a Japanese brand, over here, uh, let me see, Zoji Rushi, has a little elephants on it. These are pretty darn good also, uh, the Kuku is... Korean and this one, Sojirushi, is Japan. Japan made. 